Welcome to a Piranha episode of Nama Japan. The first episode where the bowl actually might bite back. <laughs> We're gonna eat some ramen that was made with dried piranha niboshi and a fresh one, I think, uh, deep fried on top. And what that looks like, you'll see in a second. And I'm, I'm actually here with a couple of the ramen crew. Uh, Brian from Ramen Adventures, we have Adam from Ramen Beast. And um, yeah, they're gonna share this bowl with me. How would you even dig into this fish? Oh my god, wait. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's very bony, there's a lot of... Uh, mm. Oh, look at it. Yeah, sorry, when I, I asked him up front, I said, are these like barns or... They're wild. It's like they're wild. Like someone caught them. Yeah. So like really? Yeah. It was like indigenous <laughs> people die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> people like, and, like in these drinks. Oh, you have to be careful. There's like super small bones all over the place. So, what was your impression of uh, the Piranha ramen today? Um, it was not the best ramen I've ever had. <laughs> Maybe the worst, actually. I would say roughly 2.8. A, a 2.8, so, just very specific. So this still mm, edible? Just about edible. Yeah. Alright man, what do you want to know? Uh, so how was uh, the piranha ramen for you? I thought the piranha ramen was a super interesting experience. I love people that are pushing the boundaries of what ramen can be. Using new ingredients, trying to take ramen to the next level, thinking outside the box. As far as the taste goes, it's absolute shit. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe I've eaten 225 bowls this year. Definitely in the top five worst bowls. Super salty. I mean, think about it. Do you want to eat a piranha fish? Like, it's been flown frozen from the Amazon to Japan. It wasn't delicious. It was ass. But I really enjoyed the experience. I gave the people props for doing what they did. Like, if I have a chance to try a new type of ramen that I've never tried before, that's made with something that's never been used in ramen, like, I want that experience. So, overall, super cool, glad we did it. I would do it again. That's it. That's about it. And who, who are you, actually? Ramen Beast. Um, I crush, on average, 200 to 300 ramen shops a year. I've been living in Japan for almost 16 years. And... Let's say you know what you're talking about. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's a fresh piranha. <laughs>